folks, Thirsty Panda here, kicking back around the tying bench, but I am actually getting ready to watch a Facebook live stream for the BeerGeek.com peeps, uh, Chris uh, Nelson and Meredith Canham Nelson. They run a radio program, weekly radio program, down at Peter B's Pub in Carmel Valley, California, and they Facebook stream it, so that's kind of cool. And they check out beer and what have you, and they're the, the ultimate beer geek people. I mean, these people are the ultimate. They've been to, I think, over a thousand breweries. It's, it's crazy. And Meredith Cam Nelson's the one that sent me that book. Uh, you remember that from an earlier uh, episode. Uh, anyway, I thought to myself, self? Self? What should I do to celebrate this? I can't be watching this dry. No, I cannot. So I go down to one of my favorite craft beer uh, places that I like to pick up. They got a really good selection. It's the uh, liquor barn down in that old school uh, Abbotsford, down the old part of town. It's kind of on a weird corner. I don't even know what the address is. I just know where to go. And my panda senses get me there. It's like, oh, I know where I'm going. Anyway, so I'm checking out their, uh, their very good selection of craft beers. And I come across this. Short Wave West Coast Pale Ale from Phillips Brewing. Short Wave radio program, duh. It's like, hey, this was meant to be. So I'm gonna check this out and enjoy it and check out their Facebook uh, live stream. So anyway, a little bit about the Phillips uh, uh, people. Uh, they started their, their brewery uh, a few years ago over in uh, Victoria on the other side of the pond. And they've been brewing up some really cool brews. Um, their electric, uh, uh, with Electric Unicorn, White IPA, very good. I'm gonna be doing a review on that one. Stay tuned and check that out. But today we're gonna be doing their Shortwave West Coast Pale Ale. So with any pale ale, it's probably gonna be in that mid-range in the hops, probably around the 40 IBU, uh, maybe a little bit less. Uh, it's gonna be a, a little bit malty and uh, should be a good beverage for uh, just kicking back and checking out a ra radio program. So let's crack this open. Sounds good already. Grab a nice clean glass. And let's pour this bad boy out. And we're doing the whole can today. Gotta get it all. Gotta get it all. Ah. Wow, we lost focus. So there she is. It's got, uh, it's got some floaties in there. Nice. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can see the floaties, but uh, there's lots of floaties going on in there. Yeah, it's like that uh, orangey amber color that's got a nice head on there. Oh yeah, yeah, that smells really nice. Yeah, you can smell the hops, uh, not too uh, overwhelming, but you can definitely smell the, smell the hops, a uh, little bit of a um, fruity, citrusy sort of scent to it. Give her a swig and tell you what I think, which is the most important thing at the end of the day. Yeah, that's a nice pale ale. Um, like I was thinking, it was going to be it was mid range on the hops. Uh, Would have liked a little bit more of uh, a little bit more sweetness uh, to it, maybe a little maltier, but. So it's a little lighter on the malt. You're picking up more of the hop than you are of the malt, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, fairly uh, fairly easy drinking, not too overwhelming. Um, smooth, yeah, pretty pretty reasonable uh, pretty reasonable pale ale. Um, not, not it's not gonna be my favorite pale ale I've ever had, uh, but it's it's definitely a, it's a good product. Uh, tastes good. Uh, it's not uh, offensive uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Give her uh, one and a half uh, paws up. I'd buy it again. I wouldn't have a problem uh, enjoying this again. That's for sure. It's uh, it's nice and uh, pretty uh, pretty reasonable uh, pretty reasonable product. So uh, yeah, there you go. Again, this is uh, Phillips. Short Wave West Coast Pale Ale, the perfect complement to uh, check out uh, the Beer Geeks uh, radio broadcast. Yeah, then I'll come back and I'll tie some flies because can't have too many flies. All right, cheers. Mm -hmm.